Hey everyone, it's Lady Cree. Welcome back to my channel. I'm excited to come on and share with you some Christmas card that I created um, in hopes to inspire you to pull out what you have and create and have fun. You all, I have plenty ideas, um, a lot of inspiration that I can draw from Pinterest, but I just really don't have any crafty mojo. I mean, I'm telling you, it's... <laughs> Um, these last few days, it's really, really been hard for me to craft anything. So Shantae, who is simply Shantae here on the YT, hey sis, she challenged me to create a Christmas card using the color purple. And so that gave me the push um, that I needed to just, you know what, come on Cree, let's get at the table and let's, you know, create something. <laughs> I'm telling you, you all, you know, challenges really, really do push you. Um, if you have someone in your life that can challenge you to, you know, to get to the table. And so I thank her so much for that. Trying to tell me what to do. <laughs> so let me show you what I've created. This first card here, I used the Spellbinders Earl, um, Heirloom Ornament to create this card. And I also use the snowflake embossing fold, as you see that I've embossed it. I use my Gina Marie bow here, and then I use the little skinny piece that comes attached. I just cut it and put it up there so it can hang like an ornament. And then I use um, Want to Scrap Bling on the snowflakes in the center of the snowflakes and on the bow. And I stamped Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. The inside, I just you know, matted it with the purple um, glitter paper. And um, I'll put the sentiment in there later. I love how that card came out. And that card size is approximately five by seven. I love this one here because joy is my all time favorite word. Not just at Christmas time, but anytime. <laughs> so last year I created um, a Christmas card using this joy embossing folder and I put a poinsettia in the middle so this time wanted to change it up a little bit different and I used the Martha Stewart um, bow punch there and put it down at the bottom and I thought it came out really really pretty and so the inside I just put wishing you the joy of the season so there you go with that one there this one here I love this one. This is my husband's favorite. I used the Dari's um, oval dolly embossing folder. And I um, used this one right here. Um, these are some Cherry Lynn, um, let me see, Cherry Lynn Fancy Flourish. <laughs> And my crafting mother, she blessed me with those die cut pieces there. And I'm glad she did because they are the smaller ones. And I have a larger one, but these are the smaller ones. And I use the Gina Marie Poinsettia die here. Stamp Peace and Joy to you and yours. Love how that came out. Use Want to Scrap in the middle. And just stamp Merry Christmas on the inside. Okay. And then I was inspired by my good friend, my sunshine, who was Veronica here on the YT. Hey, sunshine. She created a Christmas tag, and I thought it was so pretty, elegant, and simple. And I followed what she did and created one like hers, but it's purple. <laughs> and on the back, I'll stamp the to and from. I thought that came out so super cute. And so in the description box below, I will leave a link to her channel where it shows you that she created this tag. And she mentioned that um, she was going to go back and add some bling into her center of her snowflake. So I just went ahead and did that because, you know, I could see what she was talking about. Just making it pop more. <laughs> All right, you all, I pray and hope that you were inspired by my creations this round to pull out what you have and create. Have fun. Make something cute and pretty. All right. Well, Shante, honey, I pray and hope that I've executed <laughs> the challenge. Thank you so much, sis, for pushing me. And you all, I appreciate you for stopping by. Love you much. Be encouraged. Bye.